Have you ever dreamed of having a secret friendship with an alien, just like the one in that Steven Spielberg movie? Do you find yourself doing impersonations of Star Trek characters? Well, just let your imagination run wild as the discussion around the question of are we alone in the universe has been brought back to life with the presenting of two alleged non-humans in a public congressional hearing in Mexico. Hello and welcome to this futuristic episode of Tech Please. Public interest in extraterrestrials was piqued when a Mexican journalist brought in two specimens of alien bodies that he said was discovered in Peru in 2017. They were claimed to be 1,000 years old. He also brought in a military doctor to back his claim that the body's DNA wasn't that of humans. This daunting claim naturally aroused skepticism, and this journalist too has a history of making similar fabricated claims. He's now even facing potential criminal charges for possessing these species and bringing them out of Peru. While this news sounds a bit sensational, what rings on my radar is what NASA's Bill Nelson said at its annual media briefing on unidentified anomalous phenomena. Shift the conversation about UAP from sensationalism to science. We don't know what these UAP are. That's why I'm announcing that NASA has appointed a NASA director of UAP research. Yes, the detection of other life forms on other planets has always been a scientific mission of our space exploration activities. And here's what I learned from my friend at the International Astronautical Federation. Uh, space exploration, one of the major tasks is to detecting the trace or the evidence of the life forms either inside the solar system or outside the solar system. So we already have the conclusion that uh, until now in the solar system at least we cannot find any high level life forms such as the mammals or the intelligent life forms. But we cannot deny the possibility that during the past or at the current stage, there are some single life forms, such as germs, bacteria, or other life forms, or, or virus. We cannot uh, deny this possibility. There's a lot we don't know about our universe yet, and we have to continue the journey from a scientific approach. Well, there is, in fact, a variety of means to trace life forms outside planet Earth. In China, SETI is a relatively new field. We started the first SETI observation at FAST only four years ago. The first approach for the SETI detection is the radio SETIs. There are some institutes that are currently doing SETI research. They examine a wide range of frequency and deploy at once algorithms to process and analyze the collected data. But so far, they did not find any ET signals. And the second approach for SETI research is the optical SETIs. The instruments are designed to detect the brief but intense flash of light that may indicate the intentional signaling. The third approach for SETI is astrobiology research. Astrobiology focuses on understanding the condition and the requirement for life to exist elsewhere in the universe. These surveys provide valuable data for the understanding of the distribution of planets in our galaxy, helping SETI research targets towards potential habitable worlds. So when it comes to scientific research of our universe, it's more comprehensive and data-oriented. And do check out our previous episode to learn more about finding exoplanets. And what's more important is that studying the possible life forms would shed light into our own destiny and survival in the future. That journey has a long way to go and deserves generations of efforts to discover the unknown. So please don't just put on a show to just satisfy our curiosity. In any case, be good. That's it for this episode. Stay with Chen Chen for more tech, please.